Macau's former president of the Court of Final Appeal, Sam Hu Fai, announced his intention to run for chief executive of the enclave. The nomination period is set to begin tomorrow. Sam says he will ensure the full implementation of the One Country, Two Systems principle and diversify the Macau SAR's economy if elected. Timothy Lee has our top story. After the 62-year-old Sam Ho Fai resigned as Macau's top court judge on Monday, he declared his chief executive bid today. Speaking about his decision to run for the top post, Sam stresses deep love for Macau and his history of enforcing the rule of law there as president of the Court of Final Appeal. He emphasized his motivation to participate in the CE election is to ensure the accurate and staunch implementation of the one country, two systems principle and the long-term prosperity of the city. Sam has already set up his campaign office, headed by Macau Association of Banks Chairman Ipsio Kai, with the chairman of the General Union of Neighborhood Associations of Macau, Chen Ka Leong, serving as the deputy head. From resigning as the enclave's top judge to his announcement as a CE candidate in less than a week's time, Sam admitted he was on a tight schedule. He added that he will strive for the support of election committee members and seek advice from various sectors before announcing his manifesto. A core component of Sam's policy vision is reform. The concept includes raising the effectiveness of governance, deepening reform in public administration, and reaching out into the community to explore reform. Sam also stressed the importance of building the Hung Ching Guangdong Macau in depth cooperation zone, transforming and upgrading traditional industries, as well as cooperating with Portuguese speaking countries. The former top judge said he believes Macau needs to diversify its economy and that the government must resolve the issue of the gambling and tourism industry's dominance in the city. Some said both industries have a monopoly on the enclave's manpower and resources, and they even limit young people's career options. He noted that the current situation does not benefit the long-term development of Macau and that the path to diversification must continue in spite of difficulties. Timothy Lee, TVB News.